Hello, welcome back to Satisfactory. I am Maker Gaming, and this is episode 15-ish. And yeah, we have our aluminum tracked out. Uh, we got a train track ran. We have, a, and then we probably want to start maybe stockpiling the items needed for assembly director systems. Our first space elevator part. Hey, editor here. Uh, I've decided to cut this five minute intro out, so here's what matters. I want to advance in the game, but we need a better central location first, so today I'm just going to do some upgrades on the tower. Chapters in the timeline if you want. We're going to place a permanent blueprint designer, plan the central storage, start the battery storage, set up a permanent hub location, and then do some tower scaffolding. Thanks for watching. And then maybe we start thinking about what we want to do up here a little higher. And also I think I want to use this floor as a blueprint designer. So maybe we'll do that first. Should be pretty easy. Um, yeah, we'll go with the coated plastic foundations. I think we need a 6x6, six six, so just to keep it centered, we'll go 7x7. Seven seven. We're going to go 2 in. How would that look if we put in ramps? Would that look sturdy that far in? It doesn't look bad. Let's see how it turns out all the way. We'll go regular concrete down here. Not paying all that extra money for fancy stuff that you won't see. Alright, last one. See if the look is okay. I don't hate it. I think I would have liked it more if we went out like a half of a foundation in either way but do we care would this help um yeah i think that absolutely helps that was easy i like that yeah it looks cool and maybe there's something even for this corner but whatever, if not. Works for me. You know, I just thought of, we should have actually tried to make this a hexagonal platform. But I think we're a little, I think we're too far gone for that. So that's north, and that's center. Alright, that's even. Let me check the other side. Yep, nailed it. Alright, that's freaking we rethink what we're gonna do above. I guess if we do lighting on this, it won't matter. I was just thinking if we cover this with more tower, we won't be able to see very well. But we could just use lights, that's fine. That's good enough for now, I think, in terms of... It looks official at least, right? So, what else? Alright, you know, I think I'm done with this for the moment. I don't even need it. Um, at the moment, I just figured I would, um, but I'd rather be a little more productive. So I think I want to look at maybe the storage or see about the assembly director systems. Um, I kind of want to know assembly director systems and I kind of want to know how many crates we need to basically have every part starting from, this is our south point. So I kind of want it to be even that way and that way. So that's kind of why I need to know the total number. 
And also, let's figure out, let's make a little list. I'll do this offline. I want to get the full list of what we need for an assembly director uh, layout. I don't even know exactly where we're going to do that yet. We might do it over there. Possibly here. And we'll, if we we'll keep the space elevator there, you know, that's... We're gonna we're gonna do it somewhere around here probably. Stay close. And if we need to build anything from the last two episodes, we've got that crater where all our parabolas are. We can delete stuff in there, make some sort of small tower there, and produce what we need coming in. So yeah, give me a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna write up some uh, material lists. See how we get all this. Alright, here's that list, and I am not going to tackle this right now. It is too big. Let's let's try and focus. Not my strong suit. Yeah, so here's a time lapse. We're just adding up another floor above the storage floor uh, that'll be hidden behind this... Mostly hidden behind these windows. Uh, we can use it as some sort of sandwich floor. Okay, so I don't remember exactly why I had this two-level... Um, ceiling with the extra meter in the front um, some sort of spacing I think with the front design neither here nor there here's time-lapse of the process as quick as possible Alright, that's the ceiling. We have our sandwich. We'll decide what to use it for later. And yeah, for storage, I decided I just want it for half of the circle for now, so I'm just getting east and west confirmed. And then I'm just going to put down a whole bunch of storages, copy the design, and uh, yeah, here's a bunch of that now. All right, that was some time lapse of just us getting these levels a little finished. Um, so that's half of the circle. We'll see what that does for us in terms of materials. Um, up here is either going to be for power routing or for belt routing. Um, we could use it to do anything we might need to do that doesn't fit back here. We have what we need here, kind of considering just a full factory for adaptive control units. And I might cheat with supercomputers for now because these are all so simple and hooked up in our valley. But we'll see. That's not what we're doing at the moment. All of our storage. This is going to be, at some point, we're going to have a sorting system here for organics. Something where we drop and smart splits to all of those items in there. This is for visitors. And so this is our north spot, directly opposite from our south spot. So that's what I'm thinking for our hub. And I'm trying to think, I think seven makes a circle. Let's say there, let's go one more out. One, two, three. And seven circles, nice and easy. I think one, two, three. Check my work. Yep. 
Let me time lapse this. What's attacking? Spitters, that's fine. Alright, we got that placed. We're facing out or in. I think I like it better like this. Actually, let's go like this. Alright, hub. I think we just found your permanent, permanent spot. Two, three, four, five, six. Alright, hopefully that does it. Alright, that's it. What's up, final hub? Let's get a little bit of ramps going. Oh, we need two meter. Easy access. Acquired. Once we finish the platform, we have to make it attach to actually something. But yeah, there we go. We might end up flipping that the other direction, but for now, good. Oh, sh... Get out of here. I kind of want to do... Oh, this is such a pain in the ass. But I kind of want a half meter. Um, I kind of want half meter walls on this thing. Which would have to come about like this. So we put the... We put a beam there, we put the wall there, we delete the beam, put the wall like that, and we delete that wall. I just, I think that height's better, because you won't get to see as much out, but I do still kind of want the wall. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. I won't show this, it's going to take, well, I'll show one more, because it's going to take forever. Excessive. Do a little nudge trick. We don't even need to. Just go down one. Man, it looks better for pictures from this side, but I think I want to be looking at the other side when I come in and out. You know, maybe we go, let's go one in. Well, let's go half a meter. Let's go half a foundation in. Because thank you, nudge. So like that. One, two, three, four. We go like that. Let's try that again. H. One, one, two, three, four. Yep, I like that. H, one, two, three, four, zoop, delete, place our final blocks to fill in the diagonals, because I see one spot that's not fixed, which is right there, I 
think otherwise that's a solid structure. Yep. Look at us having a perfect structure. I mean a permanent structure. Alright. So, not gonna lie, I haven't been here for the past two days. I've been editing episode 13. Um, so, I don't remember exactly what I was doing. Besides, I know I put the permanent hub placement there. And, you know, I wouldn't mind lighting it up. Then we got storage. Um, then we gotta figure out what we're doing here. I think I kinda have an idea. I think I wanna go up. But we shall get to that. Let's do lights real quick. That's easy. Do we have a spot here? Kind of like... I like that angle. Let's make that angle happen somehow. Those are the same, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. They are... Shit, you're fucking kidding me. <sighs> Man, we die a lot. For a factory building game. But here we are. Let's retry that. We'll try it from up here. One, two, three. One, two, three. See how easy that was? No dying needed. So what we're doing is we're looking for a good place. Maybe we want to light it up from below. I wasn't counting. Eight. All right, now we need a tilted wall. Hopefully those lights were worth that. Uh, they definitely need to be brighter. Kidding, jeez. Well, we can tell where it is now. Obviously, we're going to go pink. And we need to drop that about at least 50%. Crazy. Better already? Oh, that's still really, really bright. Man, how hard would it be to make that adaptive control unit as a factory? A sphere divided into triangular thirds from above would not be impossible. Out of our scope. Let's let's stick to our million tasks. Alright, where were we? Would there be any way to make it cool to have Circular storage up here somewhere. Wait for this auto save. Dumb. Probably want to face out. You know, if we do that, another one up. I kind of like that. Let's do. Let's look at that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Alright, that's enough for a sample. Let me see if there's things like the daisy chain, like we were saying. Oh, thank God. Okay. So, that's a solution. Oh, what would look cool down here? 
got an idea. How would a cage look? You know, maybe it'd look better. Yeah, it would look better in there. Alright, that's definitely a more fitting space. Can't tell me it's not. Okay, now we got a spot. Score. Alright, that's final. So, on to the next one of these. Uh, alternate polymer resin. With heavy oil residue. Nah. Well, that'll speed it up. Compacted steel ingots for compacted coal. Yeah, let's get that one out of there, too. Just keep on going. Alright, we got two, two hard drives researched. We got this bad boy lit up. And we got a place for batteries. Hopefully there's something in there that lights up, but even if not... Alright, let's get this to some main power, see if there's anything to play with around with here. Alright, oh, but we're not going to be able to, we have to go to the end of the line to do that, but that's fine. Power switch is on. So hopefully it tells us something here. They're starting to charge. That's something. If we wanted to be real good, we could raise this up to about here. But I don't think we're real good. Like that too. Yeah, I don't think it looks bad like that either. We might go one more back in now though. It's a lot of power, we'll see. I mean, not a lot of power, but a lot of power lines. That might be where it's better. on how it looks. Does it look out of place? Not really. That I like. So in the interest of saving time, now that we have a few concepts down, and I did a couple different lighting choices, I think I like this one. The way that yellow goes on top of the battery. Um, fortunately, the light doesn't reach all the way down. A couple of the other options did, but that's still the one I'm going to go with. So that's just these down here with these directly behind them. So I think I'm just going to repeat some of this work for a little while offline, and I'll be back um, when more of it's done. Didn't stay away as long as I wanted to, but... Uh, did I show these lights? That's kind of lit now, ridiculously. Don't know if I love it. But I got the pattern down. And I did a third of them. So the power is charging now, which is good. They're all connected. They're all hooked up to the same. Um, go full north. So these are all on one circuit together. All of the... Uh, batteries and then all of the lights are on one circuit which is controlled by this lighting controller 
Those are all connected. Each light's here, and then power's dropped to here in front of each battery. And that's how they're daisy chained. And then the batteries are just daisy chained to each other, with the northernmost one coming to this. So we have two uh, panel boards here to keep track of. Um, we've also been figuring out. We've got it figured out from modular frames here, which here's a couple tier twos, and then it's like the tier one type items. And then over here we have reinforced iron plates, rotors, and stators. So that's as far as we've gone out figuring out. And then I'll probably put a green check on this side as we get them automated. I've been putting spare materials in them though, though, so we can start treating this as our new base. This is our new central storage and our new base. That's something. Another thing. Also, don't forget, we gotta figure out the hypertube floor. But it's whatever. Now here. How do we fit a triangle without screwing over this guy? So that's our north, then our corners are here, here, and here. Right here, this is like where we centered everything off of, is these three barriers. So we need to keep track with these above all else. So how do we get down south to pick a point from here? It's one two pillars we need to get to that pillar so again we're going to copy that process where we go here vertical up one place it off that h one two three four that's our spot and hopefully it's the same amount out so yeah it looks like it so those are good now we just need to go I mean, this is our spot, right? So let's just get these up in the open. Yeah, what we could just do is connect these by freeform beams, as we've learned in some of our blue tip, our blueprint videos. We just go there, we point right there at the top, and we know that that's where it's headed. And we continue. And when you click, you can kind of see where it lands, and you can tell if you're going the right way or not. Alright. Do the same thing going this way. We're doing this to ensure we have, what did we go, three out? So we'll do this on each side. So we're coming in from the exact corner. Maybe three each time. I didn't mean to stay on this long. I meant to just check in, but this is one of but this is one of the things I've been thinking about forever. So um, might as well stay with me to see if it's going to work because I'm already right at the end of it. We only got two more beams to go then six more walls then we can see if it lined up right which I'm sure it did but nice to be sure Alright, so that should be the perfect triangle with the point headed south, which will look the best. I hope. I hope anyway. Ah, uh, now that I think of it. Well, we'll see. What I'm trying to say, the way I would finish that sentence would be... <laughs> um, I just thought it would look best with the point being at the south because you'd see two sides of the triangle when you're coming up from most of the areas in the game. 
Most of the ways coming in from the game is flying. Alright, but yeah, it looks like three each way steers clear of... And actually frames it pretty nice, too. So, let's look at that. It's called an even 20 up. See, this is the kind of building that um, an actual storage would be great right now. And it's also why last episode I was looking for limestone in the Spire Coast, because that would have just made it perfect. Just have one concrete just mass producing. Because uh, concrete and iron plates are my number one used items by a million. Now, that's not even high enough for us to see from the outside, which is disappointing. Also, I'm 99% sure going to get rid of this black and white wall. Okay, I should really cut myself off. So, we'll work up more on this immediately coming back. Um, and we'll do some work in the Titan Forest. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.